Hey, good afternoon. It is a August day in the Great Smoky Mountains. Actually a beautiful day. In the 70s up here. But 95 plus down in the uh, Raleigh-Durham area. So, gonna do a little backcountry uh, fishing today. Actually for the next three days. Camping way back in the backcountry and fly fishing for some native brookies oh yeah baby and i'm bringing someone along this time my good buddy mike yo people when chris tells you the hike is uphill he ain't lying two miles one point about 1,800 feet of elevation gain, so. Did some scouting up here about a month ago. Just did a day hike to check it out. Never been back here. Always wanted to do the water, but never did it. So did some scouting with another friend. And so Mike and I are back, because he's a fisherman. And we're gonna do the whole deal. 40. 50 pounds on our backs we can and all the gear. Yeah. And then uh, it's gonna be fun. Weather looks good in the 60s, probably 50s where we're gonna be, so. I agree. Looking forward to it. Yeah. We'll check in at the campsite. All right, about halfway up the 1.9 mile uh, with 42 pounds of gear, it's a little more of a challenge. There is no stopping, it's gradually uphill so, take your time, we'll get there. Chris the is reward is kind. at the end. Chris is being very kind. It's a little bit more than challenging. But I'm alive, brothers, I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Make a lot of memories on a trip like this. All right, made it to the top of the ridge. Uh, yeah, this trail is a beast. It's quite a different story with 42 pounds of gear on your back. 1,800 feet of elevation gain, 1.9 miles, but now all back downhill. Looks like I might have to deal with some more down trees. Had a little bit of that coming up, but uh, good hike. I feel thankful to still be in the shape to be able to do this. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing. At 54 years old, feel pretty good about it. Check back in when we get to the creek. Hike down to the creek. Almost there. Easy cool down. Coming down the creek. Mike leading the way. And Mike celebrating the victory. Getting Get to the creek. Here, baby. It almost killed me. <laughs> <laughs> it is awesome. So beautiful. Native brookie water right there. It's going to be a fun two days. It's going to be a fun two days. All right, we made it to the campsite. Got our, got my tent set up. Mike's doing the hammock thing. Up on top, the rocks up here. Good little setup over here, right above the creek. Pretty amazing spot. Mike beat me to the water. Down there in a good little run. Hopefully he hit something there. Get the payoff of making this uh, difficult hike in. Yeah. It's going to be uh, good fishing. We'll be going all the way up this creek tomorrow there, upstream. It's going to be amazing. We're going to fish here close to the camp this evening.
think uh, good setup. Let's go catch some fish now. All right, so far the Mike's got a bunch of hits on the caddis, and I had a parachute Adams, and a pretty big one came up. I'm gonna switch to a big yellow Sally in stimulator here. I had a nice hit. The parachute Adams right out here on the dry too, but he didn't take it. Beautiful water. floating really, really well. Got him! Oh! He came off right here. That one might qualify for a long distance release. Lot of nice good hooks. Look at that. Native brookie right there. Native brookie. Alright. Native brookie on my hand tied yellow Sally stimulator. What a beauty. Good morning. Yesterday was a great day. Tough hike in, uh, but uh, pace ourselves got there. Really good action on the creek last night. Uh, fished for about two hours. 
Only landed once between the two of us. But uh, really a lot of action. Just hooked into several nice fish. Just didn't land them. Save on some weight. Neither one of us brought into it. any nets. You know, but they were little. You didn't really need a net, but uh, you know, they're just uh, small little uh, wild rookies. We did get a photo of one of them, but uh, good night. We were able to get a good fire going. Sat around the fire last night. It was just uh, a good evening. Got to bed about 10. It's a perfect morning. Mike's already down there fishing, so I figured I'd have my cup of coffee first. So. We're going to see how he's doing in a minute. And, uh, we're going to be on the water all day, hiking upstream and exploring the good water. But, uh, it's amazing how many hits we had and uh, long distance releases that is uh, yesterday. So optimistic for what we'll land today.